What's going on everybody? Computer Guy Chris here with a little bit of a different video today. So on my channel, the website that I usually talk about the most in terms of the best website for the OMS CS program is OMS Central. And don't get me wrong, OMS Central really is a great website. I've got it up right here, so let's take a look. So OMS Central is a website that is student made and it contains reviews of a ton of different courses within the OMS CS program. And I use this site all the time when I was signing up for a course to see what other students thought of it and how hard it was, what the workload was. It's got great statistics all shown over here. So if we take a look at one of the courses, let's look at CS 6400, which is one of the courses I just took this past semester. We can see all these different statistics on it as well as all of these different user reviews from different students who have taken the course. So super helpful. Like I said, I use this all the time when I was signing up for a course to see if this was a good course for me, or maybe I should look for something else. But recently in this past semester, I was introduced to a website that definitely rivals OMS Central in terms of best websites for the OMS CS program. And that's this one. Taking a look at it, it doesn't look very impressive. So what exactly is this website? What this is, is Georgia Tech keeps some type of a database that stores all the different grades that students have gotten in different courses throughout all the past years. And this website lets you get into that database and filter the data so that you can see what the grade distribution is for any class that you're planning on taking. So here we have an interface for that database. We can see that the data they're gonna show us is uh, A's, B's, C's, D's, F's, everything through W's, which are withdrawals. And if we take a look, right now we have all the classes uh, selected. Typically, in just any course, it looks like for 2021, the typical chance of getting an A was 54% of the class, but this is for all the classes. So let's drill down into a particular class. Why don't we look at CS6400, which we just looked at on OMS Central. So we scroll down. It's really cool because this has all the classes, not just OMS Central classes. So we can go down here, CS6400. There we go. And then we click apply. Takes a little bit to get through the data, but you can see it all loading up. And if we take a look, it looks like for the last semester, the chance of getting an A, about 22.9% of the class got an A, about 44% got a B. You can look at that for each different semester, which is super cool. We can also drill down on terms. Maybe we don't think the summer is super relevant, so we remove that. And maybe we only wanna look at particular years. Let's just say the past two years. So we'll remove all and just do 2020 and 2019. Click apply and it'll give us just that data. So I found this website really cool. I totally wish I had known about it earlier in my OMS CS career, but at this point, I've only got two courses left that I'm gonna take in the program and I've already chosen them. Overall, I think this website is great and I wanted to make sure I shared it with you. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is OMS Central better or is this grade distribution site better? I'll have a link for it in the description if you wanna check it out. I would definitely recommend looking at this website if you're going to get into any courses in the OMS CS program. It'll give you a great understanding of kind of the difficulty of the course and kind of the grade distribution of the course. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you enjoy the videos. And if you do, leave a like for the video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And as always, subscribe.